Hello everyone and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077 Access Point Breach Protocol Tutorial. We are in the middle of one of the main missions for the storyline. We're in Compeki Plaza for the heist and we've reached an access point. And in the tutorial I am going to show you how to properly connect and hack the access point so you can get as many eddies from it as possible. One of the things that you need to be aware of is that these access points have different requirements for your intelligence. So in this case, this one is going to need four intelligence. Yeah. However, some other access points will need a higher level of intelligence like 7 or 10 so in order to be able to access them you need to make sure that you invest points into the intelligence attribute so that you can access as many points as you would like now that depends on whether you would like to build your character that way or not so please be mindful of the fact that if you spend a lot of the attribute points on the intelligence just so you can get the rewards from hacking you might not be able to spend them on some of the other things that you would like in the game now, this works with other breach protocols as well where you're using the matrix and it's a universal method so let's get to it so the way breaching works is you jack into this panel yeah, and you gotta input the sequences for each individual demons yeah so for example in our case we have three sequences here for this particular panel where uh, depending on which one we get we get different rewards yeah so for example we get v1 of a data mine extract a small amount of euro dollars components and or quick hacks then we get v2 which is a moderate amount and then v3 which gives us a large amount now the purpose and the overall scope is to get all of these in one single hack yeah because then you're gonna get all the rewards and in order to do this we gotta make sure we input all of the sequences the problem that we have and the limitation is our buffer. So basically these are the amount of sequences we can enter. So in my case, because I have an upgraded cyber deck, which gives me seven buffer size, I can do multiple hacks and most of the times I can get all of the three sequences. However, initially, when we only had the starting Militech bio deck, which only had three or four in the buffer size, we cannot do that. So always aim to get a cyber deck which has as much buffer size as possible so that you can get all of the sequences in one go and extract maximum rewards from the game. In our case, because our cyber suit is giving us a buffer of seven slots, we can only input seven characters. However, in order to get all of the sequences, we need nine characters as you can see. But the trick to doing all of this and making sure you get all of them is to try to sort of duplicate the sequences entered. So for example, the 1C in the data mine V3, we can match that with the 1C in here or the 1C in here. Yeah. So basically, if we manage to sort of duplicate the sequences needed, we can shorten the amount of characters we need to enter in the buffer so we can get away with a shorter buffer. So in our case, we have E9, 1C, 1C, yeah? So we can probably start in the first 
thing. And the way the breach works is that you always start on the first row in the code matrix and then depending on which particular character you choose you will go on the other line so in our case we're gonna start on the horizontal line and then we're gonna go on this vertical line and depending on which character we choose on this vertical line we're gonna go on its corresponding horizontal line now the problem is that we also have a breach time and the, we need to make sure that we get the sequences that we want in that particular breach time. So it's good to plan a little bit when you're in this stage so that you can actually make sure you get everything that you want out of that particular breach. So in our case, I want to get all of them. You know? So in order to do that, because I have a buffer size of only 7, I can't individually put them. Plus, the way it works is that you have to make sure that you go and follow the sequence by rows and columns. Yeah? So in our case, we have to start with one of these. Yeah. So I want to get all of them, but I need to make sure that I have them. So I could go E9, 1C, 1C, and then 1C, 55, 1C, 1C, B, D, B, D, yeah? And then that means that we can double down on the 1C from the end of the V3 and the beginning of the V2, and then double down on the uh, 1C from here to the one here, yeah? And then it means that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 characters exactly. Unfortunately, there is no way to start with an E9 because it's not on the first row. So, I need to figure out exactly how I can do this and if I can do this because you can't always do this. I can get all of the sequences in one go. Yeah. If you don't have this, you can try to cheat the system a little bit by exiting and then re-entering so that you can get it. You're not gonna lock the panel and you can do this. And unfortunately in our case we might have to do that because there's no way for us to link these all in one go. Yeah because fortunately there's no sequence that starts with the with the sorry uh, ends with the E9. It starts with the 1C or a BD yeah so we could do 1C, BD, 1C, or 1C, 55, 1C to get the medium, and then 1C, BD, BD, but we're going to miss this, yeah? So what we can do is we can exit the hack, yeah, and then go back again. So now we have a better sequence, yeah? First of all, it's shorter, and we could technically try to get it, yeah? So, we got a 55 1C, and then 1C BD 1C. And because these two are exactly the same, once we get 55 1C as a sequence, it's going to get both of them. And we can easily link that with this so we can do a 55 1c or a 55 1c or a 55 1c yeah and then we gotta continue with the bd and the 1c so we can do 55 1c bd 1c or any of the combinations we have here 55 1c bd 1c or 1c yeah so it doesn't really matter so we can do this and we got to be aware of the time so see the more complicated the sequences are the less time you're gonna get uh, the more time you're gonna get so let's get to it so we're gonna get a 55 1c so we got both of them and we're pulling to this then we get a BD and the 1c and we managed to get all of the daemons installed which means that we got all of the rewards 
and that gives us 1,100 eddies. And resistance is useless. That much because I actually have a few additional stats in my character. For example, in the intelligence and in the breach protocol, I have the perk of advanced data mine, yeah, which means that I get 50% more euro dollars from the access point. And if I get it again, I can get 100% more. So if you've got a complicated sequence, like this one for example, it would be really hard for you to actually get it properly. Yeah? So unfortunately if you don't get the sequences in, you're not going to get everything. So for example, if I do just something else, 9, yeah, and then I can try to get the initial one, I get, but that's going to be it. Yeah, I only managed to get one of them because I ran out of buffer size and there were more characters in the next sequences than I had. Remember, link the sequences in the proper order in order to be able to get all of the rewards. This is going to help with getting as much out of the access points as possible. Yeah, But it's going to depend on the buffer that you have in your cyber deck. So in this case, we can start with a sequence, but we're not going to be able to get everything. So we can do a 1C, E9, 1C. We got this, yeah? But because we only have four characters, we need to make sure we get this proper, yeah? So in order to get both of them, we have to start with the first sequence. However, we won't be able to do that because there's no BD on this particular line. Yeah? And we can't use the previous sequences. So we gotta do 1, BD, BD. And that's it. Yeah. You can only get the third and the first, but not the second, because we didn't have enough space in our buffer. So there you have it, folks. A quick tutorial for hacking in Cyberpunk 2077. So remember to leave a like, subscribe, let me know if you think these were useful, and happy hunting!